Hey, we're here from BlenderAuthority.com, and today we're going to do one of the most requested uh, Blender comparison tests, which is the Magic Bullet versus the Nutribullet 600. This is the standard first model introduced by Nutribullet, which is a 600 watt blender. You have the Magic Bullet, which was their first bullet blender. This is a 250 watt blender. Uh, the next step up from the Nutribullet is probably their most popular model, which is the Nutribullet Pro. You can see it's about the same height as the 600 watt, but this Nutribullet Pro is a 900 watt blender. But for comparison sakes, we're just going to do the 600 watt and the 250 watt. Um, the Magic Bullet comes with the smaller cups. You can see here the 18 and the 12 ounce. You have the Nutribullet 600 watt. This comes with the short cup, the tall cup and it comes with the colossal cup which is over here. Now the Nutribullet 600 is the only model that comes with both the flat milling blade for doing nuts and grinding and then it comes with its standard uh, extractor blade which is for blending, pureeing and it can also grind because of the low flat blades. The only uh, blade that comes with the Magic Bullet is the standard four prong blade. This is their cross blade. If you get an upgraded Magic Bullet set, it does come with a milling blade, but it's not necessarily needed. And the first comparison test we're going to do is we're going to use a half a cup of frozen berries. We're going to use a half a banana, and we got about a half a cup of ice cubes. I'm going to throw in a half a cup of liquid. And I'm keeping the same amounts of ingredients between the two blenders just to keep it comparison wise. We use the smaller cup on the neutral bullet. And then we'll get some water added. If you're new to bullet blenders, all you do to use them is you just screw on the blade, stick it in like that. Here, you just screw it on. Make sure it's on secure. Just remember with bullet blenders, you can't use any hot or warm liquids because of the tight seal. It'll create pressure in the jar. And we'll just blend them here for 30 seconds. The max you're supposed to use any bullet blenders is 60 seconds at a time for overheating. Opening them up and seeing what the consistency is like. That's pretty good. You can see as it pours through. It's pretty good. You definitely can feel the graininess in that. Next we'll look at the Nutribullet. You can see they're pretty similar. So I don't know if you can see, but it pours through the strainer much quicker with the Nutribullet, so the consistency is definitely finer. But doing this smoothie comparison test, there's no chunks in either one. So they're both pretty good at blending the ice, the frozen berries, and the banana. So next up, we're going to try some difficult ingredients.
next step we're gonna use some fibrous vegetables, which is a good test for smoothies. And we have, we have the spinach, we have the same amount of carrots and celery, and we'll just mix it with water. Celery and carrots are usually pretty tough for blenders to blend finely. Fill them up each with water. We'll let these each go. thing I notice about the magic bullet you can see some of the liquid leaking through that is a concern you can see it's blended through pretty fine but there are chunks on the side can saw, see that the Nutribullet did skip out of its blending cycle a few times. It's just because it's an older model. It's been used quite a few times. Normally that doesn't happen much, but this one is definitely, you can see how much finer juice is. See the chunks on the left side with the Magic Bullet versus the right side with the Nutribullet? And we'll pour them through. Going through pretty good. That's pretty good. There's a lot of fiber in the celery and the carrot, so pretty good though with how it blends. This one. Oh, you can see how much chunks are in this one. This isn't even drinkable. It's just too thick. Just really doesn't have the, the power to really finely blend through something like celery or carrots. Anything with a lot of fiber too would be a little more difficult, but that needs a lot of time to go. So on that one, the Nutribullet definitely outperformed the Magic Bullet. And then our final blending test is we're gonna try it out. Just blending some raw nuts. We're gonna grind up some oats. And then we'll do another test with ice cubes. But I'm gonna pause this now and then we'll get to those tests soon. All right, we're back here and now we're gonna do a few more tests for comparing the Magic Bullet and the Nutribullet. Um, first, we're gonna try out comparing blending out just raw oats. So first, Put the blades on. And as you recall, the Nutribullet 600 is the only Nutribullet that comes with a separate milling blade. So if you're using the Nutribullet 600, it's easier to just do it with a milling blade. But I did show in another video where I was grinding just raw flaxseed into flaxseed powder for smoothies. And both of the extractor blade and the milling blade work fine. So for comparison's sakes, because of the design of the blade, we're going to use a similar blade between the two blenders. We'll stick this on, give it a go. This 
see how they did here. They look pretty fine just from seeing it. That is really fine. Nutribullet I've used so many times I know it has no problem handling stuff like flaxseed and oats and various flowers. This one's pretty good. There's definitely, I don't know if you can see it, there's more chunks. Sorry, I still have blackberry juice all over my fingers, but you can see it's pretty good, but not as fine as the Nutribullet. Might be hard to see on the video, but Nutribullet's a little bit finer. So next up, people always ask about, can I make nut butters? You know, making nut butters is a pretty thick task, making with blenders. Um, usually if you're making any nut butters, it's easier with one where it has a tamper on the top, like you see with a Vitamix or other, maybe a full-size blender, because you can use that tamper to move it around. With the bullet blenders, the problem is it can get stuck, and so you have to keep taking the lid off, moving around, putting the lid back on. So it's generally it's best to use it with a little bit of oil to help move the ingredients around, but it does depend on the nuts, depending on if they're fattier or thicker um, oil-wise than some of the other nuts. But we'll do it real quick with cashews, just see how it does. And some people just grind up nuts to put it in their smoothies or in various recipes for part of the ingredients. So let's try these out. We'll just pull some. So that was pretty quick. I might have to do it a little bit longer, but that is completely powderized. You can see that was at the nuclear bullet. Let's see what we got here. You can just hear all the chunks. So we'll do it a little bit longer with the magic bullet. It did pretty good, although there's a lot of chunks in this. That's a hard nut right there in the middle, so I can feel that. Let me check the, the Nutribullet one again. Yeah, there's no... It's much finer on the Nutribullet. So, I would go with the Nutribullet when I'm grinding up nuts, definitely. And that's with the extractor blade. The milling blade does even finer for the Nutribullet, although it's not needed because the other Nutribullet blenders that are a little more powerful than this one um, have enough power that they don't need the milling blade. So that's that for those. And then our final test is, I was just gonna do a quick chopping test with an onion. So I'm gonna just stick in a chunk of onion, chunk of onion. They advertise how the Magic Bullet is good as a food processor, so this should be a simple test of how it does at dicing up a vegetable. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to stick this in the other container. And we'll just pulse it because we don't want to puree these. So we'll do one at a time. First we'll try this one, the Magic Bullet. I think the easier thing would be to you know, try to chop it up a little bit more. Now a lot of times when you're doing this you would probably mix it in with a liquid like when you're making a salsa or something that has more liquid content like tomatoes or something. but. They do advertise that it is for food prep, so let's just do a couple more. You can see what happens is the blade just sticks it off the ingredients to the side and just spins in the middle. That didn't do too well. I'll have to be honest, on the Nutribullet, I don't do this type of task ever on the Nutribullet, but let's give it a try and see how it does. Pretty good. Let's see how that new magic bullet did. 
So as you can see, the Nutribullet completely diced up this onion. Magic Bullet just shoved the ingredients to the sides and spun around in the middle, and you have some pretty huge chunks still. You can see the difference. So definitely, again, I would go with the Nutribullet. The big reason, I think, is because of the design of the blade. You can see it's much beefier blade, a wider mouth. The containers are not compatible between the two blenders. This is a Nutribullet container. This is a Magic Bullet container. You can see that the Nutribullet container is much bigger. So that is our blending test. We did the fruit smoothie at the beginning with the ice cubes. We did the fibrous vegetables test, and then we just did the milling test, the nut test, and the final, the dicing test with the onions. I'd say pretty much the Nutribullet won on all of those tests. The only one that was somewhat similar was the first test with the berries and the banana and the ice cubes, which were all pretty fine ingredients for easy ingredients for blending. So uh, that's your comparison test. We have a pretty detailed review between the two models, but again, I would choose the Nutribullet over the Magic Bullet. Uh, and also feel-wise, the Magic Bullet just feels kind of dinkier and a little lighter weight. You can hear the motor when it's spinning. It's got a high-pitched sound. And um, when I did one of the earlier tests, you could see the liquid was out on the bottom. I was a little disappointed by seeing that. So it just doesn't feel as sturdy. Um, I've used the Nutribullet blenders for four or five years. It's much heavier weight, better built. So um, I would pay up a little bit more for the Nutribullet. And um, that's it. So if you have any other questions, leave a comment below this video and uh, we'll link to our overall review videos on or post on our blog. Thanks for listening.